Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over some stuff that should be coming out tonight for Halloween night. So at first, this morning, we thought we'd have no Halloween content, but it is pretty much confirmed at this point. We will be getting probably a player, as well as some kind of an event. Now... It might not be like a playable event. It might be a solo sequence event. It may just be some special cards. It could be something, but we are getting something. It's been confirmed for the most part. I will go over in just a second, guys. I'll go over what I think of it, some speculation, what times you can be expecting to see this. Because there's, there's a few things we have to go over here, right? So, but before we go into the video and we get into everything, make sure to go down below, subscribe to the channel, come join the family, boys. We're starting to finally grow again, you know. I think Madden's kicking back up, so I greatly appreciate that. And for all you guys, part of the Poodle Gang, shout out to today's Poodle Gang. Saeed Hassan, shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Gang, or Poodle Squad, sorry. And if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, all you gotta do is like the video, turn on that noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. Now, enough of that. Thank you guys for that. If you guys need any coins, pick up some uh, most weird stuff, heading over to Mutt Reserve down below. Take advantage of discounted Halloween prices. But guys, that's it for that. Let's head over to the screenshot so I can show you guys what I think. We can start to speculate a little bit, then come back to the Madden screen, and kind of just go over what I think at some times and stuff. But let's go on over to that. As you guys can see from the screenshot, someone finished the solos, and this is what it says on one of their challenges. On Halloween night, this night of all nights, the Vault of Old Terrors and Newly Made Frights crack open and shows a most imposing figure, Jake and Stein's monster. So, it's kind of like a reference to Frankenstein. There's a monster inside the castle that's going to come out tonight. I don't know how you get this player. Could it be an LTD? Could it be a Nat solo player? Possibly. So, definitely be getting your solos on, guys. Get your solos finished up so you do have a chance at this. For anyone else, if you've seen this, let me know down below what you guys think. But of course, people are speculating. Now, of course, you can make out the face a little bit. You can make out some of the stuff. So we have to look at the look at the things here, right? So he's got a he got a visor on, right? So players are visor. Some people said Ray Lewis. I do not believe it's Ray Lewis because I'm pretty sure for starters, Ray Lewis had a more caged face mask. Well, I know for a fact he did. He had a more fa uh, caged face mask, way more lines. Ravens jerseys don't have double stripes, I believe, as well as those clips on the side. Everything about it just seems kind of off with uh compared to Ray Lewis here. Now, again, it does kind of look like a Ravens helmet, but the jerseys don't match at all. Now, like I said, I think, I don't think it's Ray Lewis. A lot of people are speculating now James Harrison. Now, if it's James Harrison, you guys know what to expect. He'd probably be a really high hit power, pretty good pass rush, pretty good block shot. Probably won't be super fast, but again, it would be super fun, and he would be the monster of the promo. So, again, either way, I hope they kind of like juice his stats a little bit. Now, again, I don't know if it would be free. I don't know if it would be like you have to collect things for him or... Special things will be released into packs tonight to build him. Because in the past, Madden has done stuff like that back in like Madden 14, 15, 13-ish, you know, 25, that area. They used to have like puzzle pieces, like it would be like a, a monster Marshall and Lynch, and you got to collect puzzle pieces from packs. Like you pull, you pull a collectible that was like Marshall and Lynch top left puzzle piece. And if you got all eight of them or whatever it was or all nine of them, you would end up, you would end up building Lynch and getting him back, which is always cool. I wish they did something like that. But again, I don't know what the event's going to be, like if it will be an event, if it, it would just be a player and some solos. Either way, I'm super excited. Now, I just hope, I, I don't know if this is part four, because we are supposed to be getting scary tall, so I think this is just Halloween level S stuff. But in my opinion, it's going to be super fun. I think you guys should definitely be getting your solos done so you make sure you're getting, you're, you're up to this. Because again, if it comes out, if, especially if it's limited time, like if it's like, what if it's like an hour or two limited time and you guys aren't ahead? So I would recommend starting to get your solos done, start working on all that stuff so you have a chance to actually go ahead and get this. Now, again, James Harrison, he's free. His stats might be eh. If he's not free, his stats can be better. But I don't know how this would work if you come out of packs or if, like I said, collectibles, which we don't do collectibles like that anymore. So I really don't know how they'd really manage that. But either way, definitely cool. If you guys have any other player predictions down below besides James Harrison, the face throws me off a little bit in this picture. But again, if you guys think it's James Harrison or whoever you think, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking from this because I know, you know, too many, so many people, a lot of, a lot of NFL knowledge. I wonder if anyone's making something else here out than what we're making out here but let's move on from that and head back to the mad screen yeah so remember the solos are the jake and Stein solos you'll see them under most feared stuff now again there's nothing else in the storage yet there's no challenges there's no anything at this moment in time now what time do we expect that we could be seeing some of this stuff i have to imagine so it says at night right so well, let's open this pack quickly i, I love opening these see it nothing okay so here's the thing it could be this says at night so that could be like 7 p.m i know in past matters there has been a time where they release stuff at like 7 or 8 p.m on Halloween night, but based on prior, like recent Madden, they usually drop their later content around three to five, right? Like that's usually the time to expect two to five ish. So 
I'm gonna be checking out around three-ish to see if that's when they're releasing, but that's not really night. So I mean, more than likely, there's a high likelihood it's anywhere between five and eight, is what I'd imagine. Seven, preferably, is what I what I what I'm thinking for them at least. Now, what I, do I do? I like that time, not really, because people are gonna be out. Like I, I know I know it's COVID and everything, but I, I know people are still gonna be doing their stuff, whether or not they should be. Even if it's you know small Halloween parties, family Halloween parties, trick or treating with your kids, uh, you know bowls outside and all that other stuff. So. I don't like the timing of it. I don't. I hope it's not that time. That's why I'm hoping it's like three. Because if it's three, people get out of school and work, come home, knock it out real quick. Well, you know, kids change into costumes, do all the other stuff, do whatever you got to do, and then from there on out, you can go enjoy your Halloween, whether it be ordering in, doing your stuff. So that's why I don't. I hope it's not at that time. That'd be kind of messed up. Like let's get it done early, because no one will really enjoy it if it's at seven or eight. Yeah, I mean, there's some people who stay home, and there's some people who don't care for it and do anything. But either way, I think that's kind of when they should be doing it around three to five. But regardless, guys. What could we be expecting? Like I said, I'm assuming I don't think it'll be Nat, right? I can't imagine that they're gonna give everyone a Nat James Harrison. So I think more than likely, it'll probably be like some kind of limited time player, or you get something for it, and you gotta build it with other collectibles, or a limited time set, or just a set in general. Now again, nothing here, nothing here hints towards that at all. Like in the slightest. We still have Scary Tall though, so do expect Scary Tall to come probably Monday. So I don't think this is part four. I really hope not. I mean, we're supposed to have Scary Tall. But this is looking fun. This is going to be fun. I'm happy there is some kind of event because prior to this, we were kind of expecting... I mean, I expected something, then I expected nothing. So now I'm expecting something again, which is cool because I was expecting nothing. So, and comment down below what you guys think. Uh, this promo does end, I believe, November 6th. So that's up until about Series 3 as well. So we have we still have a week of it. So I don't know what else can really come besides Scary Tall. But we have this. And as far as this goes, for a lot of people probably wondering, like, do you have to get, like, do you have to get everything done? you have to have something pre, pre like pre ready again like maybe some maybe some pieces lower uh, halloween cards could be useful if they do end up dropping a set to make james harrison with some halloween cards which is there's a potential for that like collect you know 10 79s connect 10 83s whatever now they might use that and it might be a flash set that comes out and you have to go do it for james harrison and again if that happens the market's gonna skyrocket on those cards i'm not saying invest i don't know this is purely speculation i'm just informing the the outcomes of what we have seen in the past and what we could expect now could this simply just be a solo sequence where you verse james harrison and he's enraged and he's like seven foot eight and it's just for this solo sequence and you play him and you get back some a most feared pack or a free player or a free 92 or something possible very possible is this all hype possible but again it's called speculation we're going over all the outcomes so you guys can be ready for whatever you end up seeing tonight now do we wish it was ray lewis probably is james harrison gonna be amazing depends like i said if he's ltd possibly he's gonna be on the slower side it really just depends on fits into your team but guys better for the video i think i covered just about everything i wanted to cover on this topic thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you want a chance to shout it out on the poodle squad like the video comment down below poodle squad and of course turn that noti bell and that's about it thanks so much for watching subscribe to the channel make sure to check out this morning's video and of course if there's something later i should have a video on it but yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out enjoy the rest of your day have a happy halloween stay safe guys Peace.